Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out debut, uh, the brand new debut of a girl group, a HYBE girl group, an international HYBE girl group. Uh, the song's called Debut. Uh, they're from the Dream Academy survival show. I didn't watch the show, but I do know and am, am aware that they are an international girl group. So that's going to be interesting. We've seen a few attempts at that before in the industry. Uh, have never reached quite the same notoriety as, frankly, how big hype groups get. Uh, but it's going to be interesting seeing an international group being produced by hype. So you know that the visual and audio musical quality is going to be outstanding. I'm looking forward to seeing what these girls have to offer. Let's check it out. It's already catchy as hell. Wow, they have no pre-chorus. Okay, that's bold. Oh, shit. That's, that's a phenomenal song. God damn it, that's a phenomenal song. Oh, God. That circumvents literally everything I find frustrating about uh, short songs. No pre-course. No bridge. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. The way they produced it. The way they produced it. I gotta admit, it doesn't make me miss it. Uh, I, I think um, I, I would have to listen to it a second time to really hear why, but um, it 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 packs a punch. It's aggressive. Uh, it's smooth at the same time. Uh, I dig the music video. There was like one part I actually had an issue with. Uh, we'll watch it again. I can point it out. But in large part, I loved the music video. Um, Let's let's just watch it again. That is a gross intro, but okay, cool. This is creative at least. I love this crazy 360 circular spinning camera work. Hold on. I, I gotta see this so much. I keep coming back. I don't need nobody trying to tell me how to run it. Found myself somebody's about to turn it to a hundred. Uh-huh. They like it. It's simple as that. That's right. Uh-huh. 
The camera work on the shoe, that was really cool. That is really, really cool. Okay, this is actually, I love this chorus. This is the point of the music video I actually have a problem with. The music video, I love it. I fucking love it. The music video is astounding. What I really love is it has a pretty, the mirtang, the, uh, fuck, I'm so used to using Korean. Um, the push and pull. The push and pull of the slow and fast is really, really, really well done in the direction of the video. It, it has a slow start. Admittedly, a gross start. It starts in somebody's mouth, but it's creative. It's like this slow pushing out of the mouth and the slow pushing on this member. I don't know any of their names. I might have to learn. But the slow pushing on the member, and then when we get into the first verse, it's got like this bouncy bass, and it, it's like got this uh, large 360 perspective, and it's playing with the perspective of that, so then it plays off of the quick bounce of the bass, but there's a lot of... There's a lot of like movement in the snapping, the bass. And so, like, the camera's constantly spinning. But it cuts to this still shot right here. So it lets the moment breathe a little bit. And then she says, I keep coming back. And then there's, like, this there's moment. So then it slows down right here. Great establishing shot. And then brings the movement back into the video. And that's, like, this bustling percussion, like... What is that? Shakers? Like shakers? So then like the video's moving really fast. Love this fucking shot. So like every time they do this, uh-huh, they like it. It's as simple as that. Or I'm bringing it back during this part. They slow down the video and they're just kind of talking as well. So as the song is slowing down in that moment, the video is slowing down with it. So it's it's great. But the way they slow it down, I feel like it's really attention grabbing like this member um, I believe there's one Korean member and so like there, this moment is very eye catching. It's very commanding because it suddenly stops and it makes you focus on her. Uh, whereas, whereas the video is constantly in motion and then they do the same thing here. She kind of commands the video and especially with how hard this chorus drops. I was expecting way much more engaging camera work. Um, video is also not perfectly level. I don't want to get super nitpicky about that, but when you look at this shot, you I think it was a mistake. I think they're using this white line as the point of reference to make that the level uh, a point of reference, but it curves slightly. And then every other line in the background of the video is all like, it is giving the, it, it, it's giving the perception that it's level, but it's ever so slightly not. So when you watch it, like just like real quick, something seems slightly off and it's because everything's like slightly not level, but that that's that's just me nitpicking it you don't really have to like you know that's not a bad thing necessarily but it did something i would nitpick about um the camera works too slow here and so like the way like i really loved how the video was keeping this momentum going visually slowing it down on her right there and like even like the shock value of seeing like a second version of her that really makes you go like whoa that's cool and hey I have no problem with like, let's focus on the choreo for the chorus. That's the K-pop thing. But the movement is way too slow. It's way too slow. Even the turn is way too slow. They're moving faster than the camera itself. 
they should have slowed like that right there that shot right there as they're slowing it down like that makes sense but this i think the camera swaying doesn't have quite the same impact because the other shots weren't as fast i feel like this chorus could have uh, visually the music video uh the camera work could have had way more impact if the if it had edited uh been edited and cut a lot more quickly or if the camera work had been a lot more faster right when it does that that i really like that that's quick and then the moment it cuts into this post chorus and that uh where again you're you're seeing the the second member again this i that the the camera work being slow right there again it feels like they're slowing it down in the song for a moment of impact no 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 and, ooh, the guitar is hell yeah. So then it's another like big, like weighty drop right there. And then everything gets really fast, right? Like handheld camera work. So then like the momentum, the push and pull of that feels a lot more engaging again. So like that's the only section in the music video that it does that, okay? The rest of the video doesn't run into the same problem again. It just felt like a weird moment of dead air. And like their dancing is really cool, but it goes back to like, that's kind of the point of music videos is to accentuate things. That's a weird cut. That's a weird cut. I feel like based on what we've seen in this video, her scene's really cool. Like the cars coming through and all of that. And even though the camera work is slow, you've got a lot of these fast uh, exterior moving, um, not exterior, these fast uh, cars moving constantly that's catching your eye. So it gives the illusion that things are moving fast. So that's really, that's really great. But they cut on. The cut is weird. It feels like it cuts either too early or too late and that it cuts on babe. But there's a. She do, there's a there there's a there's a big there's a big drop like a drum thud on not babe but I think it goes babe uh huh on the huh there's a big thud but there's it's clearly a moment of huge impact but then nothing is happening in the video in that moment so I think what would have should have you don't always have to cut on the drops in fact. There's, there is an argument to be made about when you don't cut on drops, it creates a much more different dynamic effect. In fact, like it throws people off in a cool way. But then I think, especially based on the mo momentum of this video, video and the kind of language that they've established with the direction of this, there should have been a motivated cut. It just cuts. There's no connection from her to this scene, either like she like whips the camera or like she kicks the camera or whatever. The previous scene where we had that member in that uh, pre-chorus, so to speak, uh, where the shot st sh uh, starts on her foot and then moves up, that right there, that was a really, really great transitional shot. This needed a transitional shot if you were going to cut on Babe and cut before this thud because then this thud comes in and it feels really random. They do that again. They do that again right there. It's mm, not. And they're perfectly still too. And then the camera starts moving once the lyrics start. And so there's this, again, strange sense of dead air. So this one is also kind of slow but they quickly cut to these scenes that it doesn't especially with like the stickers coming in that it doesn't feel as it doesn't feel as slow and they overwhelm you immediately with all of these international languages on the chalkboard that it's not it's not as viscerally like like a problem for me as the first chorus dancing like that where they cut right there that's that's really well done 
I really, so like, okay, during this part, instead of showing the choreo, they do this scene and it's slower camera work, but the shot itself is so, it's so cool, especially, I love this scene where she's looking at the phone and the camera does like this crazy overarching uh, uh, craning shot. It's, it's way more grandiose and cool. And that, that scene where they're uh, like in the white uh, photo drop studio, that scene with uh, a lot of the slow motion, that shit is cool. It feels like the dancing and the rest of the non-dancing parts of the music video uh, were directed by two different people. I doubt that's the case, but that's just how it feels when it, when uh, it, watching it uh, cut together. There's a disconnect where it's just like, feels like you establish the video language and it doesn't commit the entire time. Um, I like how they end the video. I think the uh, outro of the video really adds a fast-paced walloping effect. And they, there's a lot of still shots of them dancing, especially when they're those blue track outfits. That's really cool. And I think that moment would have more impact, especially shooting their dance with less fast camera work and shooting it slower like this or shooting it with just locked frames like that, I think would have had even more impact if the first and second choruses were shot in fast motion. And I think it would be like a bigger flex. It would feel a lot more like, whoa, if the last portion of the chorus had been shot, like it just, you establish a video language throughout the entire video and then like kind of like throw everyone for a loop right at the end. It gives like a way more memorable ending. It, it's a lot more shocking that way. But... I feel like they establish a sort of language for the direction of how this video is going. And then they like mix it up a little too much here and there. And the mixing up just means that they shoot the dance slower. Not a fan of that, but I would give the video a solid nine out of 10. Like it's, it's near perfect. It's near perfect. It's freaking fantastic. And the girls, they sound amazing. Uh, obviously I would have to listen to more like albums or whatnot. But the song is produced so well that I felt myself like going like, okay, what's this bridge going to be? And then the bridge didn't come. And I was like, shit, I actually still love it. Like the song is so catchy that la, 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 la is so catchy. And I think it's really well produced to the point like maybe there's a world where if there was a bridge, this would also be even crazier. But at the same time, I actually really, really love it as it is, I would give the song a solid 10 out of 10. Um, I gotta say, that's a pretty exciting debut for me. Uh, that's a pretty exciting debut for me. I love watching a music video that isn't necessarily perfect, but has still room to grow, and yet it feels near perfect. This feels near perfect. Um, I think the song is... I think the song's perfect. I don't know how people are going to feel. I'm sure people are going to have a, a problem with how short the song is. Um, I'm going to be honest. Oftentimes when art, there are these short songs, I'm like, oh man, I wish it was shorter. It makes me want to like listen to it on loop. For example, Loop by Eve is a perfect example of that. It ends and cuts you off at like, a, I just needed one more chorus. Cat's Eye doesn't do that for me. Cat's Eye actually feels perfect. It does make me want to re-listen to it, but even though it's short, it actually feels like a full and complete song to me. Obviously, people will have differing opinions, I'm sure, given the fact that it's a shorter song, but I also didn't watch the show. Uh, I don't have certain vocal expectations regarding uh, certain members of the group. Uh, I'm very impressed with them uh, dance-wise, uh, visually, uh, definitely because, you know, it's not a full Korean group and it's an international group. Visually, very interesting and very appealing, too. Uh, I find them just, like, very, very interesting to watch, but with having 
the same K-pop quality and production. Uh, it's I when I heard that this was an uh, Hybe's international group, I was a little hesitant. I I had a little like. I don't know. We've tried doing this before. I don't know. But there was that side of me of like, it is Hybe. They know what they're doing. And they know what they're doing. I I, I kind of really love this. And I, I actually really adore the girls. I think they all have a lot of charisma. Um, I think they are all very engaging. Um, I don't know any of their names. Uh, but I think literally every single one of them is super memorable. Uh, I think, I think they're also all super memorable because they're all, they're all internationally different and they're not all vying or fighting for the same visual looks or the same visual energy. And I think that's one of probably going to be the superpowers of this group is they are all very distinct charismas. Um, and honestly, those are the makings for a really, really good group, uh, uh for a good K-pop group. I don't know if Hybe wants to promote this as like K-pop. I, so I'm using that word a little sparingly. Um, but you know, can't deny that they are part of a K-pop label. I don't know where they're located or they're based out of. Are they like, like Anteam, for example, uh, is a Japanese group, but they're operating out of Korea. Uh, where's Cat's Eye operating out of? I know Hive America is a thing. Are they operating out of Hive US or somewhere else? You know, uh, if you know all these things, hey, let me know in the comments. But uh, I kind of really dug that. I kind of really dug that. I would love to know your comments. Uh, please let me know. What did you guys think about Cat's Eye? Let me know in the comments what you thought about both the song, about the music video. Uh, I had. Uh, I, I honestly had a, a bit more issue with the video rather than the song, but I feel like people will actually be the reverse of that. But let me know. Looking forward to reading your comments. Bye, guys.